Now we continue to converse the subject of integrity. And what we are thinking about right now is a review of the things that we have already covered in this question, going back to a call for us to what we need to do as citizens of Kenya, believers in this nation that is associated with a big percentage of Christian, Christians, is to pray for those that are in authority. And the word of God is very, very specific on this instruction that we pray for kings and those in authority, that we may live a quiet life. Uh, then the other thing we can do is to support God in leadership. And as we think about a season, we are going to go into elections the year 2022. Can we seriously consider that our votes will count for godly leaders, good leaders, because they are godly, because God is good. And then the other thing we find is that we need to get personally involved. Edmund, uh, Edmund Buck is attributed with a saying, all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men do nothing. One person plus God can change things. So endeavor to be that person. When we talk about integrity, integrity is the adherence to moral principles and ethics. Integrity uh, regards honesty as a very, very key factor. Truthfulness and uprightness, all these are things, and sincerity. And I want to challenge everybody that listens to me. You only have one life to live. If you squidder your life because of abusing power or living a, a life that is not to the service and to the welfare of the people. Because uh, one of my philosophies as a leader is to understand that leadership is a responsibility give, entrusted to me uh, by God himself. But I need to be careful to understand that there's also a trust I have to be able to maintain between those that look to me for leadership so that I never, never overstep the liberties that God would grant me to have as I watch as another shepherd of the flock. Because I will account before God who entrusted me with the lives of people to lead. And even those of you within the political circles, you will give account for what you are doing and how you are treating your constituents. You would give account for the way you t abused power and harassed people who maybe were innocent, or how you used your power to defraud uh, Kenyans of, uh, of, 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 of money, and you, you siphoned so much to your own benefit. There is an accountability to do. But I want to challenge you. The issues that are raised here are very hefty. Adherence to moral principles. You are ethical. You are honest. You are truthful. You are sincere. And you are upright. What kind of communities can we develop and raise? When we continue learning about how our how our high school students are burning schools. You wonder, what kind of children are we raising? And what kind of leaders for the future are these that would burn the same dormitories that they sleep to the detriment of their own parents who the, 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 the school will still demand that they pay money. At a time where we are coming out of a very oppressive circumstances, because of the COVID-19. May God have mercy on this country of Kenya. May we pray, those of us who believe in the power of prayer, for a change of attitude upon our young people from all levels of education to stop destruction, to stop arson, to stop things that are so 
evil to the community. Not just to themselves, but also to the community. God, I pray that you raise leaders of integrity in our great country. God of heaven, remember your people for your namesake. In Jesus' name, amen.